Hi, you guys. Welcome. Welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And welcome to month one with Mountain Meadow Wool. So this is my third attempt at trying to get this filmed. I got repeatedly interrupted yesterday when I tried to do it. Went back to look at the footage and realized it was... Um, I want to preface this box by saying, when I decided to go with this box as a Merry Christmas, we're going to do two in December, um, I knew that the value of this box would not meet the goal of the 25% off that I've mentioned repeatedly, I think most subscription boxes should come out at around 25% off the retail price because you are taking the risk of it being a surprise. Um, so I want to preface this and I will probably repeat this in February and April's videos, but I did want that out there. The, the goal for this box wasn't so much the discount it's the excitement of what Mountain Meadow Wool is. They are a very unique company. They are very interesting. They are a mill. They work with domestic uh, animal fibers. Uh, they work with a lot of domestic ranchers. In and of themselves as a company, they are very interesting. Their yarns tend to be much more of that highly textured, hand-spun, um, I don't know the right word for it. Not quite primitive. It's not coarse by any means. Most of the yarns I've seen from them are luscious but durable. Um, I would say very, very good uh, for like sweaters kind of thing. Not necessarily, you know, just fluffy things around your neck, but things that are going to get a lot of wear that you want to hold up without pilling and stretching and things like that. Um, they are much more durable fibers, so they're not that silky, luscious nylon, and they're, they don't have, um, you know, angora and cashmere and things like that. It's more like, it's rustic. It's more rustic in its texture, uh, but it is not itchy. It is not scratchy. It is soft. It is fine. It just has that rustic look and texture to it. So this is a very, it, it is completely unique compared to a lot of the other things out there. Um, so first off, the 2019 theme was exotics. Um, this is a, um, I think they actually call it like it's an exotic fiber. I did the three month. I did use a coupon code for it. So my prices for what I paid are what you could be paying if you've never ordered from them before. Um, they are not cheap. <laughs> this is not an inexpensive subscription box by any stretch of the imagination. Um, first off, I want to talk about their mission statement here on the back of their flyer uh, about Mountain Meadow Wool. Our mission to revitalize the American wool industry, preserve the West and create American made high quality products through eco-friendly operations, fair prices for ranchers. Mountain Meadow Wool is a spinning mill set below the Bighorn Mountains in the Western Plains of Wyoming. It is a family operated mill dedicated to supporting local ranchers and raising awareness about ranching culture in the American West. Eco-friendly manufacturing practices help the wool retain its natural qualities, resulting in a luxurious yarn that has a, has a soft and natural connection to the land. Each premium skein of yarn is traced back to the local ranch for a direct connection to the West. So that's about them. I mean, it they really are kind of cool. And they have a mill that you can physically go to if you're in the area. They're in Buffalo, Buffalo Wyoming, right? Buffalo, Wyoming. <laughs> um, this is not my first experience with them. I have had their yarn in the past. So I would, I, when I came across the subscription box, I knew the quality of what I was getting already. 
and that's kind of what I want these videos to be for you so you understand like if you come across these yarns or if you're interested in you know more domestically produced items May this be a stepping stone for you, like me seeing it at a store was for me. Um, this month was a yak blend. Yaks are, uh, they do a whole thing about the different purposes to the yak. I'm not going to sit here and just read it, you guys. Like, that's, that's so boring. But know that they include lots of inf information about the Himalayan la yak uses. However, the yak that's in our yarn is from a ranch in Colorado. Like they said, they want to make sure that it's tied into the actual ranching and animal care. Um, I paid $125 for three boxes. That I did the three-month subscription, $125. I did use a coupon code. Like I said, these are not cheap yarns. Um, the Yak Blend is not something that they appear to carry in their shop regularly, so I did not find it on their website. So I have probably way underestimated the cost in my cost evaluation and breakdown. Um, and part of that is they do provide in the subscription box things that are specific to the subscription box. It's not something that they carry constantly, so... We might have a problem in the cost evaluation breakdowns for this box. Oh my goodness, excuse me. But these are our yarns. <laughs> Enough of me just talking at you guys. These are the yarns. So this is the uh, Cody yarn. Hand dyed russet, two ply sport weight, 185 yards, two ounces. The Camino Kid Ranch, Buffalo, Wyoming. Mountain Merino Wool. You can see what I mean. It's a very rustic looking yarn. Um, I really wish my video from yesterday were better because I was wearing an olive green shirt and I could really show you where it looked. Well, even against back here against the blue, you can see it's a very, very rich orange undertone red. It's a very, very pretty color. And this one is our Yak Blend. Two-ply fingering, 250 yards, 2 ounces, 18% U.S. yak fiber, 25% tensile imported from Germany, and 57% mountain meadow wool, black wool blend. Um, I did base the price for this one based on the black wool that they have on their website. So like I said, the yak fiber actually would pull that price up, but I had a very hard time with it. Um, so we got these. We got a candy that I've still somehow managed to not eat. This is a honeymoon patty. And it has the picture on it has a, like a pecans and it's from V. No, it's from natural honey. Eh. It's a piece of candy. So our two patterns, one is this Christmas stocking and the other is a mug cozy. Um, I am not sure I am going to use my yarn for the Christmas stocking. As much as I, I really do try to use the yarns for what they send the patterns for so we can look at this as a cohesive kit. I would really hate to use these for a stocking. I don't know what I want to do with it. I mean, both of them are so soft, um, very squishy, very luscious feeling that I kind of hate to do that. There is also a 20% off coupon that came in the box for the Cody yarn, um, which is actually a fairly substantial coupon. I mean, um, downside. My yak blend was short. 
My Hank only came with 1.3 ounces in it. When I picked it up, I thought it, I mean, and you can see just texturally how <laughs> the ball band and everything just don't feel right. Um, the density feels way off. The weight literally feels completely different. Uh, so I did reach out to them and they got back with me last night. I was going to film an addendum today, but decided to just refilm the whole thing because I'm 10 minutes in and I haven't even gotten to the cost breakdown and I'm still doing better than I was yesterday with all the interruptions. Um, but they are sending me a new Hank. I did tell them I'd be more than happy to send them the original one back. I haven't heard anything back, so I'm assuming they're going to let me keep both Hanks. Um, but she did say she was going to send me a new two ounce Hank in the mail. So they are a small company. They are a very, very small business. This is not some huge mass production site. Um, I have no problem with companies that if something is wrong and they rectify it immediately, that doesn't bother me. We all make mistakes. There are always going to be errors that are made, um, especially in manufacturing, it is what it is. As long as the company works with me in good faith in trying to rectify it, I don't care. Uh, when you stop talking to me, don't communicate with me, don't get back with me when I have a problem or a concern, that's when I start having issues with you as a company. And I have encountered that a couple of times with some people, but I can honestly say, aside from just the Christmas hullabaloo, um, that causes delays in general this time of year. I have no problem with the fact that the, the, the Hank was messed up and they're sending me a replacement. Um, to me, the fact that they're willing to let me keep both. And now I've got three ounces. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, as rustic as this one looks, I do want to point out, it is very soft against the skin. It is you have the texture of the way it's spun and plied, but it's not at all itchy. The yak in this is a little bit more durable. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit more of a rustic fiber. But once again, I mean, up against my skin, the delicate skin of the decolletage, uh, there's no itching, no irritation, um, nothing like that. I mean, very easily, this is something I would wear around my neck. Both of them would be fine around my neck. Um, I might not wear the, wear them as a hat just because of the sweat issues. Um, I, I have a very sweaty scalp, not that y'all want to know that. Um, but anytime you get moisture here, plus I have a lot of skin oils, hence the beautiful shine I already have. Um, probably not what I would want to wear when I'm sweating, but as far as, um, sweaters, cowls, anything that you might have up around your more sensitive skin. No problem. Um, uh, there, the fiber is really nice. The tinsel and the yak blend definitely softens the overall fiber. It gives it a much more luscious feeling. It also adds a nice, I don't know if the camera can pick up the sheen, but it did add a nice sheen to it. Um, so as far as the yarn goes, I'm really happy with what I got. I'm not sure how I feel about using them to make mug cozies and stockings. I mean, leftovers to do a mug cozy, whatever. But like, I really hate just putting it into a stocking. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'd like to have something that I could enjoy a little bit more regularly. But we'll see. So for the cost breakdown, like I said, I paid $25 for the three boxes. I did use a coupon code for that. We got the two ounces of Cody and Russet, which is $11.98 on their website. Two ounces of the Yak Blend. I have that wholly estimated at $14.98. I don't know what they would sell this at, um, but that is the closest I could come to an estimate based on their pricing. I did do the same thing with the patterns that I started with the lighter review box uh, or lighter co reviews I'm doing. I took six patterns from Etsy and Ravelry in a similar design, did an, uh, an uh, average of those six patterns, and that's what we're calling the cost. 
So for the mug cozy, $2. For the stocking pattern, $5.15. There is the 20% off coupon for the Cody yarn. So I came up to the value of box one being $34.11. The box costing me $37.50 for the month, which doesn't seem right. I have no idea how I came to that number because that just doesn't sound right. Um, <clears throat> especially since it'd be even, I must have a change in there that I'm not accounting for in my notes. Some of my notes are from when I placed my order in October. Some of my notes are from when I received my box on Friday. So it's been one week since I received it. Um, but I, I got it late on Friday, emailed them about the scant skein. Um, Troy was sick all week and I finally got back or heard back from them last night. So it did take a week, but we are in the middle of Christmas and I did email them on a Friday. So I didn't expect to hear back until Tuesday anyway. Um, Christmas season, I would say Thursday is pretty legitimate. <clears throat> um, so we didn't break even on the value, but that difference of $3.00 could very easily be where I've had to estimate the value of this. I didn't think, like I said, going into this box, we were going to see a huge discount on what we get in the box versus the retail price. Um, they have a very limited selection. So you're, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'm catching Troy's cold. I'm not sure, but I've been very, um, congested all day today and sitting here in front of the camera talking today has not really helped at all. Um, your biggest risk in getting this box is actually your colorway, not your yarn. Um, I'm happy to take that risk to work with an American mill and American ranchers and domestic product. I am willing to take that risk with my money. Um, not a lot of people might feel the same way. I don't know, but I did think it was an interesting box to give it a shot, especially given the fact that this year's theme was the exotic fibers. I am all for that. I enjoy trying new things. Uh, new Zealand possum, camel, awesome to work with, just saying. <laughs> Um, so having the opportunity to work with a yak yarn, I'm actually kind of excited about that. I don't think I've ever had yak before. Oh, <laughs> Beth over, I just ordered a bag from Beth over at Heaven's Peacemaker. So she's emailing me my shipping. I'm so excited. Um, so I've never worked with yak before. I'm very excited about working with the yak. Um, based on the way it feels. I mean, I can't stop touching it. It feels, it feels different. I mean, there is, even with the high wool content, it is only 19% yak, um, but it's got a, I mean, the yarn has such beautiful stretch. I mean, it's got a beautiful, stretch to the natural fiber, to the plying. It makes it feel more, um, <laughs> really it's sliding through my fingers more than I can show you the stretch. Um, it's got a more luscious feel than you would think it would have, especially being, um, such a rustic yarn, <clears throat> but it's really, really nice. Like I'm, I don't know. I keep uh, just babbling on about it because I'm excited about it and because I don't want to, um, I don't want the opinion on this yarn or the subscription box to be tainted by the fact it is a rustic look, but still high quality fibers and exotics and luxury fibers do all have a different feel than the wools we're used to working with. So I'm pretty excited to see what 2020's theme is and what we're going to get into with that. I don't know if they're going to continue doing the exotics or if we're going to get, you know, variations on, I, I don't know. Um, as I've never subscribed to their box before, all I know is what was listed for 2019. So in February, we will circle back to this box again and we will see 
what we get. We'll see what I decided to make. I've got two months to figure out what I'm going to do with it because, uh, I mean, I, I really like the stocking is the problem. I think the stocking is a really beautiful pattern. Um, I just, I guess it's a long-term thing. I, the cop just flew down the road. Um, <laughs> it's a long-term thing for your household when you make Christmas things and household things. I don't know. I just, I always hate. I feel like I'm wasting high quality fiber on seasonal items. I can't enjoy them year round. So for me, something like that, I mean, I drink coffee every day. So mug koozies, I, I, I can use that anytime, any place. Um, winter wear items, I wear four or five months out of the year. That's doesn't seem so unusual, but something where I'm only keeping it out for a month or two is, and you're using really nice yarn for that. <laughs> um, I know that's kind of a weird carryism, but I like to enjoy my stuff all the time. So I don't know. I, I've, like I said, I've got two months to make my decision. So we will see if I decide to make the stocking or not. I might. It's, and I love this combination. I, I think the combination is very beautiful. The, believe it or not, the simple nature to the stocking, where it's just got that chevron stitch to it, I think actually really accents the charm of the rustic appearance to the yarn. So, I don't know. Um, I will continue snuggling it and figure it out. But that is my last surprise for this year for you guys is the Mountain Meadow wool box. So I did just film month two of Lighter Co. We have one more month with them. This is our first month with Mountain Meadow wool. We won't come back to them until February. So if you have any questions, as always, please comment down below. I will leave a link to Mountain Meadow Wool in the description box. Um, read more about their company. Um, it, their investment in what they're doing, I think, is pretty awesome, to be honest. Uh, I think it's a really cool thing. And I am very excited to be doing the review on this box, even knowing my cost cost evaluation on this may not meet what I set out as a goal. I think the other benefits that come with this box may actually be worth it. And once again, we're dealing with another small business, which is awesome. <laughs> I, I really enjoy working with small businesses, um, doing business with small businesses, uh, especially um, at this level because they have enough flexibility to be able to rectify things easily. Um, you're dealing with a professional setting, not some of the other things I've dealt with in the past. Um, but you still have time for personal care. Um, when I called them yesterday, they were actually in the middle of a Christmas party and you could hear them holly jollying away. Um, and I wasn't going to make a big deal out of what I needed to discuss with them. I told them to have a Merry Christmas and enjoy their party. So... <laughs> Um, I look forward to, to hearing what you guys think about this. Um, I really look forward to seeing your opinions on this. Uh, please be kind though, for the reasons why I listed above. I do ask that, um, even if you don't see the value in the box, I do ask that you be kind in your commentary. Um, don't be rude. Um, once again, Questions, comments, you can always email me, reach out on Instagram, leave a comment down below. I am always happy to respond. I will see you guys real soon. Take care. Merry Christmas. And I will see you real soon.